Hello beautiful people, this is your girl Jeannie. So I got a request from one of my subscribers and I feel like yeah, I must oblige. So she told me to make a tutorial now. I turned that key old because the last tutorial I didn't really sew the sewing tutorials and all because of time. So I had to get this in order to show us how I turned the key old. Yeah. So I just got like a piece of uh, material left from what I have and some lining. So I had already cut out just like a basic uh, half length, just to serve as an example because of course this is not the actual quilt. So as you can see, I had already cut out the um, the key hole there, and then I will just take it to the sewing machine. I'm going to be running a quarter of an inch all the way around it, and I'll be back to show you how it looks. And so yeah, as at this time, I had already turned it out. So make sure that the Lining is of course on the right side of the fabric when you are doing that so that by the time you want to turn it out it will just go back to the back of the uh, material naturally. So now I'm trying to trim off the excess. If you feel like you can sew it um, without uh, before as in after cutting out the key, key hole on the lining too. But it's always good to do it like this so that you can trim it off easily. And then you are going to be making notches. All the way around the hole. Make sure that it doesn't cut through the sewing, because once it cuts through the sewing, by the time you turn it, it will be showing on the other side. So please ensure that it doesn't. So just notch it very, very carefully. And so now the next thing we're going to be doing is just to be tucking it in. Let me show that again so that you understand. So as you can see, the way it is, just lift it up like so. That is the lining, and then tuck it into. The fabric like so so automatically it will go to the reverse side of the fabric so as you can see it's already on the reverse side so you can see that it's not that difficult yeah we have different ways by which we can achieve this but this is the way i did the one in the last tutorial so that is why i'm showing you that this is how i did it so you're going to be arranging it very well i intentionally used a white fabric so that it will be very very visible so you're just going to make sure that you don't mind my iron. And please, yeah, if anybody knows how to clean the face of your iron, please kindly leave it in the comment section. I've tried several ways to achieve this, but none. Everything was just not working. Please, if you know any other way that is effective, please kindly leave it in the comment section. That is the main reason why I was even showing the face of the iron so that you, many people will tell me what I can apply to help with that. Thank you. And so, yeah. Just to make sure your iron everything, drag out the lining like so, so that it won't uh, be seen on this other side. Just try your best. Alternatively, you can use your hemming glue. You can place your hemming glue in between the stitches and then iron. That equally helps. But because this is just like an example, not the actual fabric. That is why I'm not making use. I don't want to waste my hemming glue because nobody's wearing this. It's nobody's size. It's just like a dummy. That I'm trying to use as an example because of um, the requests. So iron it properly, and after you've ironed it, this is how it will look. It will all look neat. You can see the reverse side is looking beautiful and clean. So now the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to turn the neckline. So in order to do that, you can either use a bias, that is a bias tip. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to turn your neckline neatly like a pro with a bias. But I will not be making use of the bias. I will be making use of the fabric. Because that was what I used in my tutorial. So now this is the fabric. I, don't, I just cut out a long strip like one inch. It's just an inch and then i'm going to be taking it to my sewing machine like this and i'll be running it so i'm going to be adding to the sewing machine to show you how it is done but if you want your bias you can use that any one is okay but i'm making use of the fabric So yes, here I've, I've, I'm here at this 
as a machine so i just want to show you how to do that so i will start by placing the bias or the one inch that i cut like a bias and i'll be running it like so just sew it on top like so the way you see me doing like half an inch or a quarter of an inch just run it around the neckline try and arrange it just run it easily take it easy make sure the lining is moving with it not that uh, you're sewing and the lining is under no no the lining must be with the neckline so everything will sit perfect so you sew it like so and then if you have any excesses you can cut it off that is if the thing was too long so i'm going to be trimming that off here so it trims that off so this is exactly our neckline so the next thing i'll be doing now is flipping it to the other side like so as you can see the lining everything was with it when i sew it first so now i'm going to be folding it in form of like a bias as if you want to do a band you fold i folded into three one two and the third one i placed it on the lining so right on that edge i'm going to be sewing it please if you didn't see that place very well kindly rewind and rewatch so that you understand how i did it this is especially for our beginners who wouldn't know how to use this because if it's supposed to be a bias they already have that like have a quarter of a quarter of an inch by the side so to turn it is always easy but if you are an advanced person you can use this perfectly well and it will come out very well so i'm running it like so and that is how i run it all the way folding it as i'm moving till the end of the neckline so please if you have watched up to this level what are you waiting for why have you not subscribed thank you all thank you all please and, and don't forget to click on your notification icon so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video and please kindly share this because many people would want to know how this was done thank you all we're about to be true because we're, in fact we're basically through you can see that this is very easy i hope i satisfied that my subscriber that requested for this video thank you for your honest review thank you so much and so the next thing i'll be doing now is to take it to my ironing table and then i'll give it a very good press And yeah, so I've already gone ahead to give it a very good press so you can see it laying flat and neat. So you're going to turn it to the reverse side, you see how beautiful it looks. So that is why sometimes I like using the fabric instead of the bias. So it depends on your choice, anyways. So anyone that you're comfortable with, please kindly use. So if this video was helpful once again, please kindly share, like, and subscribe. Thank you all and God bless you. Plenty, plenty. Plenty, plenty. <laughs> Watch out for my next tutorial because this was definitely not my next tutorial. I just had to oblige my subscriber. Thank you all and stay tuned. Bye. See you. Mm -hmm.